Buying coffee is a process that requires many steps. And at the heart of it all is our Guatemala City Lab, located in Zone 14. When a producer wants to sell us a lot of coffee, the first step is to deliver a parchment sample to us, either to our office or to our Huehuetenango warehouse. These samples, complete with the producer's name, farm name, lot volume and geographic location, will be carefully examined and cupped in order to determine whether they meet our quality standards for purchase. The first step in assessing a parchment sample is to hold the coffee in a small machine in order to remove the parchment. Once the sample is hulled, it is weighed and sorted for defects by the lab team. Defects are removed from the sample in order to approximate the quality of the final product as much as possible. Then the sample is weighed again. Weighing the sample helps us determine the coffee's yield or how much exportable coffee will result from the lot. This is a key consideration when buying green coffee. Then the lab team will collect additional data about the sample. The coffee's moisture content is important because it indicates whether drying was done correctly. The lab also takes a water activity reading to understand how water acts and moves inside the green coffee beans. At this point, the lab assigns the coffee a code. This is done so that the producer's name will be anonymous, which ensures a fair and unbiased assessment of each lot. Each sample is roasted in our Probat sample roaster. Then the offer sample will be cupped by our team following standard copying protocols. At the cupping, we discuss each coffee and decide whether or not we'd like to purchase the lot. Every sample is stored in our lab. If we decide to purchase a coffee, the next step is for the producer to deliver their parchment to our warehouse. This coffee, now in our possession, must be cupped again in order to ensure that the producer delivered coffee that matches what we originally cupped. So our team will take another sample called a received sample. This received sample is treated similarly to the offer sample. It must be hulled, sorted for defects, weighed for yield and tested for moisture and water content. This data should all be similar to the data collected from the offer sample. These samples are also given an anonymous code for unbiased assessment and roasted in the same way as the offers. Received samples are cupped together and discussed in detail. This is when we decide whether the coffee will become part of our blends or sold as a micro lot. And we make careful notes about the profile of each coffee to share with our clients. When the received coffee is approved by the cuppers, we authorise payment to each farmer, which will be received within a few days. The received sample is also stored in our lab, because we send samples to our clients and also recup the coffees at various times throughout the year. Meanwhile, the coffee lot itself will head to the dry mill for milling and bagging to prepare it for export. Our small lab processes between 1,000 and 1,800 coffee samples per year through the hard work and dedication of our team.